So when I look at our progressive movement and I look at our alternative media people, why are they pushing forward such shameful non-truths? Some people want revenge against the rich and they will not rest until they get revenge. Why do you care if your tax dollars are actually being spent? Okay, so what do you care if the government spends the richest tax dollar? Or what do you care if it destroys it? Your ultimate goal is to punish the rich, to reduce their wealth, right? <laughs> In terms of US dollars or British pounds or Australian dollars. So as long as it's destroyed, right? But the thing is, is that I came to the conclusion many years ago that I think many progressives like the struggle more than the solution because it gives their life meaning to complain. If we came along and we provided a job guarantee and universal health and free college tuition, we got rid of student loan debt and we made, we filled stomachs and there was sustained prosperity and perpetuity. Crime rates would drop, racial tensions would drop, social problems would start to dissipate and then be eliminated. Many progressives are into politics because they want to feel like they're doing something by protesting or complaining. They don't want to actually resolve the issue. When you explain how things actually work, how federal spending works, how national government spending works, the instant list of the switch flips on and they knee jerk and they, they don't want to hear it because it negates their deeply held religious beliefs. You understand what I mean by that? It, it, it literally bothers them to hear that prosperity is possible right away. They don't like that. I don't, <laughs> you have to be a very strange person not to want to help people. You have to be a very, very, very strange person to see a man bleeding on the street and say, well, we need to find the man who stabbed you before we can treat the bleeding. I mean, this is insane, but that's the way they behave. They literally behave like this. We all can't have healthy, straight, perfect teeth until we pull the teeth of the rich. And they would go, yeah, that's stupid. But when it comes to money, federal spending, all of a sudden, it's not stupid. It's a wonderful thing to know that not only can households go broke, not only can corporations and businesses go broke, but the government can also go broke, meaning that money is some kind of commodity that you dig out of the earth or pan out of rivers and streams and then the whole world is in debt. Oh my God. So like Pluto's going to fall in debt. <laughs> and, and, and that's why, that's why NASA went to Pluto <laughs> to, to drop off an interest payment before it called in the debt. I mean, come on, get real. All right. Money is not a finite commodity. It's just a social tool that's created by national governments. It's called the state currency. These governments do not need revenue from the people in order to spend. They give the people money to spend. Government deficit is the private sector's income. <laughs>